What's going on guys in the works media and welcome back to some more Battlefield 3 and today we're playing on the PC and this is going to be an interesting video today because in the chat of this game, this game in particular, we were discussing um, what makes you better faster. You know, camping, does camping make you a better player or does moving around and playing aggressively help you learn the game faster and help you become a better player faster? And I was like, you know what, this would be an awesome video topic because a lot of people ask, how do I get better at Battlefield 3? Why am I doing so poorly at this game? And this server right here is what they call a noob friendly server. And I myself am pretty much a noob at Battlefield 3. Um, at least on the PC, I'm not the best at aiming. Um, at least long range. You know, I got my short game down, but long range I have some struggles. So I, you know, I was like, I'm going to join this lobby. Well, it turns out this lobby is full of full bird kernels. And I learned the hard way, you know, throughout my Battlefield 3 journey that noob lobbies basically mean that they accept bad players. And by accept, that means they'll help them learn, they'll help them, you know, they'll talk about Battlefield 3, they'll be really um, understanding if you do poorly. They don't have any expectations. And, you know, I like that about a server. That's what I usually look for in the server. I look for people who are down just to have fun. Now, um, a couple of guys in this lobby, or you might see them in the chat, um, are talking about whether or not, you know, camping makes you a better player, because some of the people on our teams are, are like trying to give them constructive criticism, saying, hey, you know, your team would be doing a heck of a lot better if half of them weren't camping with sniper rifles, half of them weren't just cam camping on the one flag they, they own or in their deployment. And, you know, I chime in at this point and saying, hey, you know, I had struggles with this game when I first started, you know, I wasn't doing so hot, but the way I learned the game so quickly was that I actually played aggressively. You know, it helps you learn the map. Sure, you're going to take a lot of deaths, a lot more deaths than you would want to, um, but playing passively never really helps you learn um, the maps, doesn't really help you learn the traffic patterns. You know, that my argument was is that you're going to die just as much camping um, on Battlefield, and any first-person shooter for that matter, is if you were, you know, rushing around and at least trying to get better at the game. Because if you're just sitting in a corner, you know, you're just staying pretty stationary, you're not learning the traffic patterns of maps, you're not learning the mechanics of a game, basically you're going to be forever a noob. And, you know, another guy in my, on the other team had, a, had a, uh, an argument that camping helps you learn the mechanics of the game at your pace versus, you know, someone else's pace. Because if you're rushing around, you know, you don't really know the game, you don't know the mechanics, you don't know how the game works, it's not really going to benefit you from rushing around because you're going to, you can learn the mechanics of the game playing your, your pace without having to worry about um, what someone else is doing. You know, they have to come to you, that way you know how to aim, you know, you learn how to aim, you learn how to shoot, you learn how to take cover. So there's a lot of interesting... Um, viewpoints towards whether or not camping makes you a better player. I have a feeling that you guys are probably going to side with me on this, saying that playing aggressive um, basically will make you a better player faster. Whereas, you know, I, I can see the argument where some players might say, hey, I'm not very good at this game. I want to learn at my pace. I don't want to learn at someone else's pace. I want to uh, I want to play the way I want to play. I don't want to have to run around and get killed 50 times in order to learn a game uh, when I can just, you know, you know, maybe just hold down a building, you know, near an objective and just play pretty pretty stationary, pretty passively. And that's understandable in Battlefield 3. I mean, it's a hard game. Don't get me wrong. The PC version of this game is much harder even because the competition is very stiff. There's people who've been playing Battlefield like, you know, I played Battlefield 2. So obviously I know the, the way Battlefield works a little bit. So um, a lot of players in this are going to be like four to five times, you know, even ten times better than I could ever even dream about being at this game. And it's hard to sit down and say, hey, I want to play aggressive and, you know, just take your take your beatings as they come because um, it's not the easiest thing in the world to just let yourself get stomped. But I think letting yourself get stomped will eventually make you a better player. Not too many, not too many people out there will say, hey, you know, I got better from camping. But it's interesting because a lot of people in this lobby felt that camping actually would eventually make them better players, that it was helping them learn the game. And you might see some of them talking in the chat. I don't know if you can read that because the chat's hard to read on a 1080, but <clears throat> sometimes, you know, you just got to go out there. You just got to play um, an aggressive style to learn the, you know, the traffic patterns on the maps, to learn the lines of sight on the maps, you know. You'll never know where you'll get popped from if you're running towards an objective unless you get popped from that angle, you know. You'll never know that someone can sit overlooking <coughs> C and shoot you until you actually get shot by that person doing that same thing. 
So by camping, you're not really doing yourself a favor. I mean, sure, you may be easing yourself into a game, but I think that easing yourself in the game is probably one of the hardest ways to pick up a game. I think that um, the reason why we saw so many problems with like games like Call of Duty with people camping is because they can't seem to break out of their shell. And you're going to see me say here, you know, all camping does is keep, you know, you're going to die, die, die when you camp. And you're not going to get any kills. Whereas if you play aggressive, you're going to die probably just as many times but at least you're going to get some kills, you know, because even, you know, a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. You're going to get kills. Whereas if you camp in a situation like what this game is right here, they're never going to get any kills. It's going to be so lopsided. You're just going to die a bunch of times and you're going to have a sour taste in your mouth. Whereas if you're playing, uh, you know, you're running around, you're at least playing a little bit aggressive. You're going to have some motivation to do better next game. You know, you're going to feel like you actually did something. You didn't just sit there and contribute nothing to the team. Um, because if you're bad at the game, you know how I ease, ease myself into the game is I played objectives. You know, I tried to plan objectives, I tried to cap flags, I tried to at least be a benefit to my team. Because I don't know too many battlefield lobbies that are going to criticize you for, you know, dying a bunch of times. Because dying in conquest isn't that big of a deal. Yes, it takes away a ticket, but capping flags and being triple capped is more important um, than the tickets you lose from dying. So. Um, that's just something I want to throw out there guys. I know there's going to be a lot of interesting uh, viewpoints on what you guys uh, think actually helps you learn the game better. Um, and I'd like to hear your thoughts. So leave it, leave it in the comments what you think actually uh, would make you better faster. Does playing aggressive make you better faster or does camping make you better? I mean, um, I can see arguments for both sides because you can, you can learn at your own pace or you can just learn, you know, kind of fly by the seat of your pants kind of thing. So let me know what you guys think. I'm really interested in this, uh, this topic because I think that it's something that a lot of people debate in any first person shooter. And uh, something that's going to be around for as long as the first person shooter exists, there will be campers. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I did record this in a little bit different setting, so let me know what you think of the quality. I got rid of the 720 and moved on the, to some 1080. Um, it will be rendered in 720, but um, at least it's some better resolution than what you guys have probably been used to on some of my PC videos. But I will see you guys next time. Peace.